Five minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding. I rise to oppose the previous question so that we can immediately consider H.R. 471, Representative Yvette Harold's bill to enforce Title 42 at the border. As a Mexican-born legal immigrant, Border Patrol wife and a mother, I know firsthand how out of control our border crisis is. Our South Texas communities are hurting because of this crisis and our people feel totally ignored by our government. Dangerous drugs are pouring across the border. 80% of the fentanyl killing Americans comes into our country at the southern border. Human trafficking are taking advantage of our open border to conduct their evil and heartbreaking trade. Criminal organizations are in total control of our southern border. Last month alone, 240,000 illegal immigrants were encountered entering our country, a new record. And those are just the people who were caught. The true number is undoubtedly far higher. And in 2022, so far, 50 people on the FBI terror watch list have been arrested by the Border Patrol. That's higher than the previous five years combined. Title 42 is one of the only things keeping the crisis at the border from getting even worse. Allowing Border Patrol the flexibility to expel some illegal immigrants quickly, and yet for some inex inexplicable reason, President Biden and the Democrats want to end Title 42 for good. Doing this would put out an even larger welcome sign to drug, sex, and human traffickers. It would send the signal across the world that America's border is open and that the administration has no intention of upholding the rule of law. As a Border Patrol wife, I also know that the morale of our agents is already low. Eliminating Title 42 would discourage those brave men and women even further as they struggle to contain the never-ending surge of illegal immigration at the Biden administration is trying to even make even worse. I, I came to this country legally, and as did so many in South Texas, for the chance to live the American dream. My legal immigration experience as a child was incredible. That legal process is how it should be done, and I want more children to have that same positive experience. My experience should not be rare. We need to focus on legal immigration, how to make the process faster, affordable for those good people that want to come to this amazing country. And yet today we have a federal government that encourages illegal immigration, knowing the dangers that they will have to go through. Not only does this put our country at risk, but it also puts thousands of women and children into harm's way as they make this dangerous journey to face the possibility of horrendous abuse. My heart breaks every time Border Patrol agents tell me about the human tragedies they see unfolding before our eyes, and yet the Biden administration seems determined to make things worse. I urge my new colleagues on both sides of the aisle to stand with our border communities and support Representative Harold's critical bill to preserve Title 42. The humanitarian crisis at our border demands we do nothing less. I believe that securing our borders shouldn't be political. It's the right thing to do. Thank you, and I yield back.